reason why we're here tonight is to have a look at the amazing TM6. Now, I know some of the people on have seen it or heard about it a little bit. Um, some have not heard or seen about it at all and you're brand new to this. So I will be covering um, just some of the basic things that the Thermomix can do to give you an idea if it will suit um, your kitchen and your lifestyle. My name is Gemma and I am the team leader for Team Thermo Fans. Um, we are a great Thermomix team in um, northern New South Wales and we also do have Sally Moragas who's down in down in the cold bits, down near, down near, where are you Sally? Down, um, down on the far south coast. Far south coast, there you go. I've never been there, so it's very hard for me to picture this place, but um, far south coast, um, and she's joining us as well. Uh, Kylie says, good to be here, thanks for the invite, Joe. Excellent, so pleased that you've um, been able to pop on, Kylie. Um, welcome. So. Without further ado, let's get started. So before we do get started, we like to tell you how much the Thermomix is. And a little bit of a reason why we're doing this demo tonight is that the price of the Thermomix is going to be increasing as of early next month. So if you're thinking about buying a Thermomix, this is why we're here. This is the best time to do it because as of next month, it will be a bit more expensive. Shane, have you just got that slide for me? Thank you. So... The Thermomix is $2,359. There are lots of payment options and I will cover those a little bit later in the demonstration. Of course, the best person to talk to about payment options and what payment option is going to suit you the best is your consultant or the person who invited you on um, tonight. But I'll be more than happy to stay on at the end if anyone wants to have a chat about that as well. So tonight I'm making some very basics. We are flat out at our house this week. And I wanted to show you how half an hour or so with the Thermomix can actually get you um, a little bit set up for the week. So the first thing I'm doing is a batch of pizza dough. Now that um, saves my bacon quite often because my children, um, it's very hard to fill them. I've got a 14, 10 and... Um, no, 10 and 11 year old. <laughs> They've all just had birthdays, don't judge me. Um, and it's hard to fill them up. So pizza dough is a great one um, for them. Now, I have told the Thermomix what I'm making today. So if you just go to the screen, did I get this? Do I have the screen check? Excellent. So in the screen, I've just pressed here um, and I can go into my week. And I have told the Thermomix, we've just got someone entering there you got him Shane I've got Shane helping me I'm not talking to myself here um, and I've got pizza dough here because that's what I'm going to make so the Thermomix um, cookie do has got all of the recipes saved in here and I've just gone into that recipe on the screen and I'm just going to hit start cooking and it's going to tell me step by step what to do um, and even up to the you know things that I'm doing outside of the Thermomix. So lightly grease the bowl. Next, I'm going in with my water. We've got integrated scales. So we don't have to have measuring cups or anything like that. We just weigh our ingredients straight in. Oh, look at that. Almost exactly. Things that wonders will never cease. Radio, and, we, and we've got, I'm just leaving out the sugar. We've got some yeast. in the chat or come off mute if you have ever made your own pizza dough before put a little bit of yeast in there with my warm water and we pop the lid on and we're just for 20 seconds we're going to stir that um, around so all of the instructions for that were all saved onto my thermomix and i've just turned the knob to say start cooking or start doing the, the process um, you've done this before <laughs> only a few hundred times Joe. <laughs> um, but we're now mixing that um, water and our yeast together you might not have heard that but I've got a little ding from my thermomix which means I've got to come back and hit next and this is where I um, am going to put in my flour so we're tearing our scales back to zero and we've got our baker's flour. And we'll 
chuck that in. And making your own pizza dough. Now, no one's told me if they make their own pizza dough in the chat. Let me know. Have you made your own pizza dough or any kind of bread, actually, I'm interested in? Um, it is a really good way to save money. Things, uh, you know, everything's on the rise. Um, food is no exception. Um, so this is a very cheap way to make, you know, quite a bit of food. Um, and you're just using basic ingredients that you would, you know, you could have in your pantry as well. Putting in some olive oil. Again, it's just the scales have come up, so I just pour straight in. I don't need to dirty another um, measure or anything like that. And then I'm going to pop in some salt. And we'll put the lid on. And we'll give that a whirl. Now, two minutes, that's going to need for two minutes... Um, Two minutes of kneading in the thermomix is about equivalent to about 10 minutes on the bench. So, um, okay, and we did our first batch on the weekend and ended up making pizza scrolls. Oh, very good. Well, that's actually what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to show you, I'm just going to make two little pizzas um, and then the rest of the dough I'm going to actually make into some scrolls uh, for lunch boxes. So, there you go, you've read my mind. So, hopefully, um, you'll pick up some tips. I'm just thinking, do I have my, oh yep, I've got my, I've got my secret weapon, um, it's all good. Now, any questions as we go, just make sure you're popping them into the chat or just come off mute and, um, yeah. Brooke, did you meet, oh, I think she was just waving, was she? Or Brooke, have you got your hand up because you want to ask a question? Amazing. Saving. Yeah, yeah. I love it when we actually work that out because when we actually work it out to the dollar and, and know exactly what we're saving, it's it's really it's really good sell rather than I know it's cheaper than buying it, but I haven't bought it for over ten years. So I actually don't know how much people are people are paying for these things either. So there you go. I know pizza yeah. rolls are expensive. Yeah, this customer was also buying more expensive ones from Woolworths because she can't um, use the toilet for any additives at all, but so $7 piece of pill. Yeah. Compared to what she was buying. Yep. $7, yeah, each pizza based. Excellent. Oh, good on it. I bet she's loving her Thermomix then, Sal. Unbelievably, she is, <laughs> and she actually used to own a bakery, so she keeps sending me photos of her hubby, you oh. know, rolling the dough and making the pizzas. Excellent. Whoa, that's that's awesome. Right, now that's our that's our pizza dough done. Okay, so like, how quick is that? Like, anyone can do that. There's our pizza dough in our bowl, and we're just going to pop that onto our thermo mat. And I'll tell you about the thermo, or how you can get a thermo mat um, later in the demo, but it's one of our host rewards as well. You need one of these if you're going to um, be making doughs, I reckon. Rightio, so there you go. There's my bowl. It's going to be clean enough to do our next um, thing we're going to do in that. So I'm not even going to wash that up. So, so far I've made no washing up, which is um, one of the other time-saving things of the thermo mix is you don't have much stuff to wash up either. Rightio. Now, with my pizza dough, I'm just going to sit that aside for a few minutes whilst I make um, my custard because I um, am, like I said, I'm going to make that into some pizzas and into some scrolls, but I'm also going to make some custard for the kids. Um, I keep this in the fridge for them to have like a cold um, little treat. And it's a little bit like, I don't know if you're a child of the 80s like me, or 90s, 80s or 90s. <laughs> um, and we used to love yogo. Did anyone like yogo? Oh, Shane's got his hand up. <laughs> it just tastes like yo caramel yogo. So this is, this is what I, I've got my, my kids onto this. Radio. So the other thing I'm going to do to show you this is I've, this recipe is actually um, one that, 
I've got written down an old fashioned, the old fashioned way. Um, so like I said, all of our recipes are in our cookie do um, platform. But if someone does give you a recipe um, that they like, or you know, you want to convert grandma's custard recipe or something like that, you can also use the Thermomix manually. Now, I know there was a couple of people registered that had TM31, so have had Thermomix for, um, you know, 12, 10 to 15 or so years. And back when we had the TM31, you only ever cooked manually. So you can still do that. Um, and that's what how I'm gonna do the caramel custard. But this custard recipe is so simple that you could probably do it blindfolded. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually, um, oh, Joe needs help. Um, zoom up. She might have to watch the recording, Joe. I don't know how we can help her, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to, on my screen, I'm going to go over to the scales and I'm going to bring up the scales manually and I've got my list of ingredients here and this is, um, it, this is literally uh, put everything in and turn it on recipe, okay? Are we right? Yep. Okay. Radio. So, oh, there she is. There's somebody entering. <laughs> is it her? Michelle. Is her name Jo? No, Michelle. <laughs> oh, oh, we're happy to have Michelle here as well. <laughs> Radio. So, I've got my scales up. This is very simple. Like I said, it's brown sugar. And the other good thing about this is you actually can, you can decide what you want to put in this as well. Did that just do? Here we go. Here we go. Radio. Um, butter. Oh, little, little bit extra butter. I've never heard anybody. Two eggs. Oh, I like, I like looking at it like that, Shane. That's good, good angle. <laughs> Two eggs. Oh, look, I, I keep going to hit next because I'm so used to being on my. Um, I'm so used to being on the um, cookie doer. And I don't have vanilla down here, whoops. That's okay, it's not gonna have any vanilla in it today. Um, milk. <laughs> and we're gonna go 500 grams. So I just, again, pour in, don't have to dirty anything. Just pour that in, oops, a little bit extra milk is okay. <laughs> and some flour. Now you can choose whatever flour you want as well. So if you wanted to make this gluten free, obviously you could use the arrowroot flour or anything like that. So the beauty of cooking from scratch and you putting the ingredients is, is that you've got full control about what, um, what ingredients you use as well. And also, is that Michelle Fisher that just joined Joe, Or a different Michelle? Yes, it is. Oh, it is Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Um, hot, hot, hot. Oh, she's incognito, excellent. Um, well, I was just gonna say, Michelle Fisher let me know that yesterday she made um, this recipe with no egg because she didn't have any eggs and it still worked really well. And then she made it with um, almond milk because she wanted to make a dairy alternative and that worked really well as well. So um, that's what I like. I like one that will, um, something that'll just work every time, even if you do mix up the ingredients. So now see how I'm doing that is I've actually, I've actually typed that in. Can I look at the screen, Shane? Yeah. So I've actually typed that in manually, the time, temperature, and speed. And then that is now cooking away my custard. As simple as that. Oh yeah. Now, when we talk about cookie do, um, I just want to show you what that looks like. So it's hard to imagine, but we've got a website that has got all of our recipes in there. A little bit like your Netflix um, for your movies. This is for, this is like, Cookie Do is like Netflix for, um, for your recipes. And you've got every recipe that has been made by Thermomix for the TM6 is available in here. You do get um, this for free for six months when you buy your, when you first buy your Thermomix. And then after that, it is only $69 a year. So it is probably one of the cheapest subscri subscriptions that you'll have as well. So 
Um, here's another shot just of what you can search by. So you can search by ingredient, category, collection, your favourites, popular recipes that other people are cooking, which is a good idea to try and get some good ideas. Um, but what makes cookie do really good and really helps people who can't decide what they want to have um, there is a plant-based section Kylie yes there's all anything you can think of there is a set there is a tag for that okay um, but what you can do is you can do what this is here and it's a meal plan so you can actually say okay today we're gonna have this tomorrow we're gonna have this the next day this the next day this you can grab all that information once you've done your meal plan and you can then create a shopping list now once you've done a shopping list you can go to your pantry you can tick off all the staples and things that you've already got and then that leaves you with what you need to purchase obviously now when you go to purchase your um your item it will link to Woolworths online so you can easily do a click and collect or a delivery with Woolworths of the ingredients or you can obviously just print out a list and um go to the shops yourself now cookie-do 3.0 which I used to say this is new but we've had this for a while now you can actually upload your own recipes as well so this custard recipe even though this is not technically my recipe I did borrow it from the recipe community but I've actually put that over onto my cookie do so I could actually have that step by step on my Thermomix now as well and you can see there I've got Gemma's scone recipe which is my recipe that I've developed right from scratch and it's on there where you can actually go step by step through your own recipe and it helps you cook your own recipe. So you don't have to get grandma's cookbook out and dirty it or you know remember the recipe or whatever. It's all there for you. It is Kate, it is an awesome feature. Yep. And it's really, it's really like cookie do seems like, oh yeah, you know, it's just the recipes, but there's just so many facets of it. We actually do a cookie do lesson every month. Um, for our owners once you get cookie do so that you're getting the most out of your cookie do so we once a month um, on zoom we all get together and um, we talk about you know the recipes that we've tried and how to search and how to make meal plans and really help you um, to make sure that you're using cookie do to its full potential because it really is a might like there is so much to it um, and so many options I think over 30,000 recipes um actually far more than thirty thousand recipes now i think so you know you'll never get you'll never get bored that's one thing for sure with all of the cookie do recipes so yeah now any questions about cookie do has anyone heard about cookie do before let me know in the chat if if you've seen cookie do oh there's um oh no that was jack was it excellent <laughs> who's seen cookie do Brooke's still got a hand up, but I don't think that that is for this question. <laughs> but good work, Brooke, if it is. <laughs> Excellent. Welcome, Jack, um, as well. He's just joined us. Um, okay, so now, um, what else do I want to say? <laughs> what else do I want to tell you? I've got two minutes. Now, if you were cooking this at home and you weren't talking to um, all of the Zoom people, what could you get done in seven minutes? So you chuck the ingredients in, you turn it on for seven minutes, and you can actually leave the kitchen. So that is where um, the time saving comes into the Thermomix because you probably could cook a custard on the stove in seven minutes, maybe, I think. Um, I've never done it. But you would actually have to be there stirring it. So you don't get to get away from the kitchen. Um, Oh, yeah, that's a good point, Joe. There is a plant to plate whole book of um, plant-based recipes, but there's lots of tagged ones in there um, as well. But yeah, that is a good um, that is a good collection too. Right, yeah. Let's have a look see at our custard. I can just hear the custard. You probably can you hear that? So my custard still has 20 seconds to go, or no, two minutes to go, but I'm just going to stop it because I actually heard it thicken. So it was just doing a like a whir, 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 and then it sort of starts being gluggy, and that's the perfect time to pull it out of, of the Thermomix. And it's done. How amazing. Let me just pop it in my little container. Look at that. 
Oh, sorry, Shane. <laughs> I moved too quick. Look at that. It's thick. It's just amazing. So the Thermomix can do that. Look at that. Oh, it's just like liquid yumminess. <laughs> yumminess? Is that a word? Um, the reason why the Thermomix can make something like that, that if you made that on the stove, you'd have to be there constantly keeping it at the right temperature and, um, you know, the right speed and stirring it and all the rest of it. The, the Thermomix can actually keep the whole bowl at a certain temperature. And then obviously it's got that constant stirring as well. So that's what our chefs love about the Thermomix is that you don't have to stand there with a thermometer on the stove keeping things at precise temperatures that need like like custard so that you don't end up with scrambled eggs it's it does that for you so there you go i feel like i want to lick the bowl but i'll wait until you guys are gone before i do that <laughs> and look i've got a whole little tub 500 mils of um of custard um, Michelle says Kylie made one for yesterday, almond milk. Oh, uh, uh, did I say almond milk before? I think I might. Yeah, coconut, sugar, no eggs, worked beautifully. It's just a winner. It's it's so good. Right. Now back to my back to my pizza dough. Um, it hasn't quite proved as well as I would like because it's not very warm here tonight. But you can see it started to prove. So that is good enough for me, and I'm going to get going on that. Where is my other spatula? And my oven is nice and preheated, so you'll be able to straight away see the two little ones. So now I'm just going to bring my other Thermomix bowl back that actually did the did the um, pizza dough. And I'm just going to show you a couple of things because I need some stuff to put on my... Um, to put on my pizza dough. So I'm just going to roll this one out. And I think my rolling pin is upstairs. Is it? it is. So can you grab that for me, darling? Thank you. Um, so I need to, I'm going to do scrolls and two little pizzas, I think. Like I said, if you were going to leave that in a nice warm spot, you could actually prove that a little bit longer, but it will work perfectly. So now I'm going back to my um, Thermomix and I'm going to just roughly chop an onion first. So I know lots of people hate chopping onions um, and my screen's not going to change here because my uh, <laughs> shade's gone upstairs, but I'm going to pop in a whole onion. Thanks, stuff. Can you just show them the whole onion in the bowl, please? Thank you. See, I've got a whole onion in there. And I'm just going to do three seconds of roughly chopping this. Like so. And I'm going to have a little look at that. Look at that. There's my onion. Can you see that? Oh. It's so hard when it's backwards. Look at that. My onion's chopped in three seconds. How good that? Love it. Never never ceases to amaze me. Rightio. So these are just going to be a very savoury um, pizza scroll today too. It's the end of the term. The kids are just getting whatever's in the cupboard. <laughs> there we go. And... Now I'm going to do some parmesan cheese. Ooh, I'm pleased I didn't have to chop that onion because it's very strong. Now, parmesan cheese, again, whole three, three big cubes of parmesan. Thank you, Shane. Probably going to do three, uh, probably going to do three seconds of those. As well. That's enough of that. It thinks that I'm trying to heat this as well. Um, there you go. There's my roughly chopped parmesan. Oops. There's that. I'm going to do that again because I actually want it finer than that. And I'm just going to go up to nine. For another couple of seconds. And I'll show you what that looks like. There we go. Perfect. There's our grated parmesan. 
Alrighty, I'll stick that aside. And you can see I'm not washing up my bowl in between because they're all go it's all going in together anyway. Um, so I'm all for no washing up. Now, some tasty cheese. Chuck it in. Um, and I'm just going to grate that again. Speed nine. Did it for five seconds. So there we go. So now all together, I've done 13 seconds of chopping. <laughs> and my bowl, now that it's made the pizza dough and it's chopped the onion and it's chopped the um, cheese, can now go in the dishwasher. Okay, so that's my first little bit of washing up that I've, that I've created. Um, now that's my tasty cheese all um, grated as well. And... I now have a rolling pin, so I will um, make one little, actually I might make this a little bit bigger than small. Any questions? Everybody's been very quiet tonight, if it wasn't for Joe. <laughs> That's unusual, isn't it, Joe? Well, I knew it wasn't quiet. Do you want to know why I'm quiet? Sorry? You want to know why I'm quiet? No, I, I said it's been very quiet if it wasn't for you. Oh. Nobody would have spoken to me tonight. Well, I won't be speaking. I'm going to change my tack because oh. I have my friend Jo that couldn't get on and I rang her on the phone via FaceTime oh. and she's watching you. <laughs> so she's waving. Oh, hi, Jo. <laughs> How funny. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. When there's a will, there's a way. I'm pleased that you're with us, Jo. Um, thanks for joining us. She said thank you. Oh. <laughs> you needed to see the Thermomix before the price rise. Radio. So, I'm going straight on with some of my onion. I'm putting a bit of parmesan on these, on this one. And a bit of tasty as well. Because you can never have too much cheese, is my kid's motto. Radio. so that one's going to go in the oven. Now I'm going to make my scrolls. So with the scrolls, um, you want to make sure you oil your dough a little bit so that it's nice and easy to roll out. But basically, you just want to make a big rectangle. So Joe, I know you don't have children at home, so lunchbox treats aren't really something that you um, have to make. And this is a question without any notice, so good luck with this one. Um, but what would you say your biggest money saver is with the Thermomix? Um, well, I don't eat out much anymore. Yeah. Um, and I don't miss it because... I can make such damn good food with the Thermomix. Yes, and I know your um, friends like to come to your house for dinner rather than going out. Oh, that. look, I've got one. She was here before. She purrs on the split. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes it gets disappointing when you go out um, and there's something, you make, you know you can make it better at home. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, she, um, um, no, so I don't know what my... Um, Biggest money saver. I just saved so much money. I've had them mixed for ten years, um, but I just I save on wastage, and I yeah I cook I grow some veggies, so I make a lot of pumpkin soup. Yeah, which is cheap as chips. Um, you I grow your own pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, and I don't eat much bread anymore. Um, so you know, there's not a saver there because I don't eat it as such. But yeah, cakes and so many things. Yeah, just. It's, and just like multitasking, I love that too. Love yeah. being able to, you know, make a sticky date and then while it's sitting there or cooking in the oven, you can make the pumpkin soup and you can, you know. Yeah, yeah, very good. Um, Radio, so now I've got my, can you show the screen, the top of that show? I've got my um, dough there rolled into a big triangle. I've put my onion and my, sorry? Square. Square, sorry, not triangle. Thank you, Shane. 
<laughs> I've, um, I've popped it all in there and now I'm just rolling it. So I'm using the, the mat to help me roll this into a log. Ah, uh, um, who is that that's told me that ours is yogurt? We have two kids that love yogurt. Oh my gosh, yes. When when children are into yogurt, and mine are actually a bit off yogurt at the moment, but when children are into yogurt, you can spend so much on those pouches and um, those pre-packaged yogurts, can't you? It's, it's ridiculous. And you can make it, and it's so much nicer when you make it yourself. So I've got my little, my long log now and I've got my um, dental floss I know you didn't think you were going to see dental floss tonight but my kids are asking about the camera and video work oh well, I'm so pleased that we're impressing somebody Kylie that's good <laughs> Shane will be happy he's put a lot of effort into the um, into the cameras radio right. <laughs> so I've got dental floss you can't really see it um, but I have got a piece of dental floss and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these with the dental floss. So you want to show the screen shade. So you just bring it up and through your scrolls and then this way you don't actually, um, you don't press them and so they don't get squashed on the ends, which is what would happen if you cut it with a knife. And you also can't use a knife on the um, thermomat either. So this is the way to do it. But these scrolls, you could put whatever you wanted in this. And this dough um, is so versatile. If you add a bit of sugar to it, you can actually make this into a sweet dough as well. So you could put the custard on this dough if it was sweet. Um, and you could make custard scrolls as well, which are very delicious. But I don't make them because I end up eating them all. And they're not very good for your um, waistline. Radio. There we go. Pop that there. And, and what about you, Sally Maragas? What's your biggest saving with the Thermomix, would you say? Okay, well, I definitely think the yogurt is a huge plus. I wish I'd known about making yogurt when my kids were around, because the more they had, the more they wanted and the more I bought. Yes. But now, yes. Um, I love making yogurt, but my, my biggest saver, I reckon, is mayonnaise. Oh, okay, yeah. And it's so simple, because it's got basically, all you need ready to go is your kind of light oil, like a grapeseed, your salt, which we've all got salt, yep. two eggs, and your vinegar. And yep. honestly, the amount of times we run out of mayonnaise, we make it before you could even get to the shops. Yeah. It's yep. such a huge saving because we've got yep. our own chips. So we've got our eggs and we mm -hmm. buy a tub. We buy one of those, I don't know, 500 mil or 750. It costs now about $8. Yeah. 50, yeah. you know. Yeah. So that's our biggest saving. And the other thing with, with um, like mayonnaises and spreads and sauces and stuff is the ones that you buy at the shops have got so much other stuff in them, mm. the preservatives and the additives and the colours and the numbers that you don't even know what it is. Um, and at least when you make it yourself, it, you know what's in it. So you feel confident giving it to your children and, and having it yourself because you know that there's not a preservative in it that's going to mean that it can last for four years, um, which On is a good thing not to be eating. <laughs> yeah, excellent. I think probably for us, the um, my biggest saving is time because I'm very time poor um, and the amount of time that I can save with just getting things done in the Thermomix and whacking out more than one thing at a time like Joe was saying you know you can make sticky date pudding while you're doing um, a pumpkin soup if you plan it um, you know right and all of that you know you can you can produce a lot of food quite quickly so yeah uh, and Brooke said definitely yogurt and tomato sauce so much healthier if you make your own. That is so true, um, Brooke. The tomato sauce that sits on the bench for ten years and never goes off is not what you want to be. Um, not what you want to be eating, is it? Radio. So, how do you get a Thermomix? I hear you all ask. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'll go through the payment options. Um, so, the Thermomix until early next month, which 
I'm going to say just next month because I don't know what date specifically the date that is changing. But at the moment, the Thermomix is $2,359. Um, and you can, um, how do you get one? That's right, Kylie. That's what everyone's thinking. Um, you talk to your consultant, Kylie, let her know that you're ready to go. Um, so $2,359 on your credit debit card. There's Afterpay and PayPal in that option. The other option is you can become a Thermomix consultant and earn a Thermomix. Very, um, for those that have already got a TM6, only $125 to start. Those that um, don't have a TM6 yet, we actually have a deal going at the moment that you can earn your Thermomix for four sales, which is amazing. Um, and you can get started um, sharing the Thermomix like we do. Probably my favorite, actually joining my team would be my favorite, but my second favorite payment option is the 24 months interest free. So currently $24.56 $24 a week on Zip Money. Um, we can show you how you can save that on your grocery bill or your eating out bill or um, be able to make $25 a week um, worthwhile getting back that in time for you as well. So talk to your consultant if, um, if, that, if, the, if the price is holding you back, talk to your consultant about how the Thermomix is gonna make you $25 a week and let's get you one um, working for you straight away. Now, the Easy 3 um, is another option, which is $1,009 and your Thermomix gets ordered and comes to you in 10 days. Um, you then pay $700 30 days later and then $700 another 30 days after that. So a little bit like a take home lay by. Um, was the last image the business kit? Yes, Jack, would you like to see the business kit again? There you go, look at that. He's, he, he, um, he, he's a bit out of practice, um, Shane is, but look, you know, once you teach an old dog a new trick, you never forget. So there you go. Um, thanks, Jack. That is the that is what you get for your $125 um, in your business kit. So stay on at the end, Jack, and I'll have a chat to you. Anyway, let's have a look and see how my pizza's going. And I quickly want to talk to you about host rewards and how once you get a Thermomix, how you... Um, share the Thermomix with your friends and then end up getting all the bits and pieces that we use as Thermomix consultants as well. Okay, my pizza is almost done. I might just put it in for a little bit longer. I oh, know, look, it's, it's pretty well done. So there's my pizza. So I'm just gonna cut that up and that's what they're gonna have for lunches tomorrow. And my scrolls probably need a little bit longer. I might have to share a photo of those, but I'll give them just a sec longer while I talk about host rewards. Thank you, Shane. Um, so, by hosting a Thermomix demonstration as a Thermomix owner, you can actually open up these rewards. Just by hosting, you get a discount on one of these items. And then if one of your friends at your Thermomix demo decides to purchase their Thermomix, you actually get it for free. So, lots of our owners like to collect all of these. You need all of these items in your life. Um, so... Talk to your Thermomix consultant and um, book in a demonstration. Now, they can be done at your place. At Some some of our consultants offer them at their place um, or they can be done virtually like this. So it, we're so flexible at the moment. Um, we just want to share the Thermomix with as many people as we can and we need your help to be able to do that. So for those of you who were invited by someone um, tonight, thank you so much to the person who invited you as well. Um, now, before I wrap up, were there any questions or thoughts? <laughs> Over to you. Thanks, Sally. My pleasure, as always. Questions? Ask me anything within reason. And I ask a question, which recipe again was it for the custard? Um, it was, Sally, my own, well, I'm going to say my own recipe, but it's not my own recipe. It's the Too Easy Caramel Custard on the Recipe Community. That's where it first originally come from. Awesome. And then I've just got this piece of paper that I um, keep in my little bag of tricks yeah. here. It's one of the very few recipes that, um, it's so easy, I don't even go into my created recipe. 
because it literally is put everything in and turn it on. So I just have my list there because so I know the weights basically. Thanks. No worries. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. I'm so pleased that the um, custard worked for you. Michelle rang me and asked if she could um, cook custard without eggs and I'm actually not a trained chef. You might be shocked by that. Um, but <laughs> Shane laughed. Um, I, I didn't know. So I Googled it quickly to see if there were any recipes for egg-free custard and there were heaps. Um, so I said, yeah, give it a whirl and it worked. So there you go. You can make our custard egg-free. <laughs> um, Kate, you can't buy a thermo server. You have to host a demonstration. They're only an item for our, um, our hosts. So talk to me. Uh, actually, Kate, I think you might... I'm not sure who your consultant is, but talk to your consultant because I can't see your surname. Um, but if you're not my Kate, um, then talk to your consultant and you can invite a couple of people on like a um, virtual demo and then you can access um, that as well. Doug, thanks for it. you try to pizza scrolls. Oh, Doug, unfortunately, I don't think you're in Boambi, so you can't um, you can't pop over for a pizza scroll, but they um, are very good. And you can put whatever toppings you want on those. Let me sh let me show you what they look like. Uh, they won't be quite cooked, but look, you can see that they're coming along nicely. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, the only reason Gemma didn't say much is because I don't know much. Oh! <laughs> My husband's sitting here too, Doug, and he was very quiet as well, so maybe that's the same for him. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. No worries. I'm so pleased that you're on and hopefully um, I'll see you again on the 5th. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Doug. Yes, Brooke Lewin, we do have to catch up for a coffee soon. We've been saying that for about three years, so um, we better do it soon. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm so pleased you made it to your first um, Thermomix um, Zoom. Well done. Any other questions?